this is just a short walk in Epping Forest. And it's uh, about an hour before sunset. I've just dropped down from Woodford down uh, Whitehall Road. And I never realised before how Woodford sits on a quite a high spur of land and it's got the two valleys dropping away, the Roding Valley to the east and the Lee Valley to the west and Woodford sits up there very proud on its promontory. The trees won't be bare for much longer. Be lovely to watch them come back into leaf over the next month or so. This is really delightful, isn't it? Bridge closed to vehicles. Surely the only vehicles could be bikes, right? I can't see that bridge collapsing under the weight of a bike. I wonder if there's like a little troll under that big bridge. It looks like a kind of troll bridge, doesn't it? Doesn't matter how many times I come out to Upping Forest, I always see something new. Something that's changed, or you go to a familiar place at a different time of the year and it looks completely different. Endlessly rewarding. Queen Elizabeth Hunting Lodge with the Premier Inn next door. I often end walks here, but I've got about another 40 minutes of daylight, so I'm going to walk for about another hour. So I'm going to have to bypass the pub that I normally stop for a drink. My God, what's going on? Using a sense of humour to tackle the scourge of abandoned dog poo in the forest. There's no such thing as the dog poo fairy. Fantastic little shelter here in the forest. I think they do bushcraft workshops here, so this must be something they've done during one of those. So peaceful, isn't it? Saturday night, 6 p.m. Shops are shutting. People going home, getting ready to go out. Pubs are starting to fill up. But there's no one in the forest. It's magical. I really love it. I think this is the Cuckoo Brook running through the forest here. The problem I encountered here was that when I crossed the Cuckoo Brook and I had a look at my map and I thought somehow stupidly that I was crossing the Cuckoo Brook here and heading east towards the road here and exiting the forest at Loughton. But actually when I crossed the Cuckoo Brook here and was heading north. So that when I came out on the road, I was here heading north instead of coming out here and heading south. So I successfully lost my sense of direction. <laughs> I ended up going north. Um, I still am, I'm going north. 
east now, I think. <laughs> oh well, at least I'm not walking on the road in the dark. That's the blessing. So I'm just going to try and follow my compass in the dark now. See where I end up, at what time. Apparently we've got more than five senses. I think we've got something like eight senses or something. And uh, the sense of direction is one of them, which I think is actually the sense of um, picking up uh, magnetic current. And clearly my sense of, <laughs> in that sense, my sense of direction is uh, completely skew with actually. I thought I was going in more or less the opposite direction. made for a better walk. Well, in the end, I've used the best navigation tool there is and relied on memory and allowed my feet to bring me back round to Chingford, to the hunting lodge. <laughs> wow, the problem was I'd gone a lot further north than I thought I had initially when I, uh, when I came through here earlier. But it's great, simple little walks turned into a nocturnal adventure in the forest. How wonderful.